Please, I'm here for another reading for you today. As always, it is a general and timeless reading. It's not a personal reading, so just take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for the next person. If you would like a one-on-one -on -one personal session, a personal reading, or Akashic Records, go to 144bluerosetemple.com or you can email me. And thank you for all of your love and all of your support. If my energy and my readings resonates with you, feel free to subscribe. We do have an Aphrodite temple at the end of March, so feel free to check that out in the box below as well. Divine Mother and Father, Holy Spirit of God, what do we have for the Pisces today? For their highest good and for the highest good of all. I'm hearing get ready. We have keep going. It has the number 43, so the number 43 or 7 can resonate with you. Why do we have keep going? You have forcing change. Manipulation of nature. Cruelty. All right. What this looks like, Pisces, is that there have been things stopping you or halting you or blocking you. Creating blockages, which again, nothing has power over you. You could be seeing the number 777 or 333. Keep going amidst manipulation in your life. All right. As you see endurance and experiments. And so it feels like whatever blockages or whatever was trying to stop you, it just doesn't. It just doesn't. All right. Why do we have endurance and experiments? You are very, very sensitive to energy. You can feel when something is off, when something manipulates your energy. We have the unknown mysteries and wonders, okay? You can resonate as high priestess energy. We have changing consciousness, awareness, and extra sensory perception, okay? You see what is hidden. You're very sensitive to those mystical realms. Um, and we do have experiments here, okay? Now, what's coming through is you had pure, joyful friendships that helped you clear something, okay? So there are multiple people that helped you clear something over here. Why the hidden world, endurance, and experiments? Earth magic, okay? There definitely could have been manipulation of some form here. Why the hidden world with endurance, experiments, and rest? Let be and let God expand your consciousness, okay? This message is coming through for you, Pisces, already. Now, you are safe and all is well, Pisces. Keep going. Did someone do something that was manipulative? Looks like it. We have earth magic, experiments, manipulation of nature, forcing change, cruelty. Keep going. Okay, someone could have specifically, like, really tried to stop you. Someone could have manipulated nature. We do have earth magic right here. You are at rest because you're very protected here, Pisces. This was an initiation. So for those of you who felt like you were dealing with some sort of energy, right? And it's 333 as soon as I say that. We do have 33 here. Um, again, nothing has power over you, but do these things exist? Yes, they do. You know, they do, but it has no power over you. That was your initiation, and it brought you to a higher place of consciousness. You were not supposed to fight magic with magic. And so for some of you, this, I'm getting like temple stuff, okay? Um, you don't fight magic with magic. You fight it with con fight, right? Because there's no fighting. There's, there's, there's no games. There's no fighting. It's consciousness. And so when someone, say if you've ever dealt with that type of situation, Pisces, right? Where someone specifically maybe does something to you, manipulates nature in some way, shape or form. You don't send something back, which I'm just reading what it says. Again, this is a general timeless reading. So like make this reading fit for you. But when something like that happens, what it always is, is an initiation into a higher place of consciousness. Because even when it comes to manipulation of nature, magic, this, that, it's still consciousness. It's consciousness. And even when someone says doing that, they're really just trying to manipulate consciousness to 
manipulate your own subconscious, right? And so what's happening here, Pisces, is you are at rest because your ancestors and, you know, all of your other loving beings and guides are doing the job for you with rest over here. You have earth magic and experiments. You were dealing with someone who was, and I don't want to necessarily use the words of a lower consciousness, but they're coming from a place of fear. And that's really what it is, is that they're more in the root space because they're coming from a place of fear, which makes them want to do something regarding magic or manipulation of nature, protecting some, themselves, whatever it is. And so Pisces, you're operating at a higher consciousness than they are. Keep going and just be at rest for whatever that this is because again they're someone who is at a consciousness of more fear based consciousness and not as much heart based consciousness i'm also hearing sacred okay you are sacred pisces this person seems they're just where they are okay and that's really what i what, what i want to say is that they're just where they are now let's see what this is pisces all right the hidden world rest earth magic experiments and endurance all right why do we have the hidden worlds endurance experiments star maiden and earth magic why seven of cups seven of cups temperance the moon card, things unseen, temperance, and then the seven of cups. Why seven of cups? Why temperance? Why the moon card? Definitely someone from the past over here. We have six of cups with the four of pentacles. Someone is holding on to something from the past. Six of Pentacles with the Temperance card. Where's Pisces energy in this reading? You are in your success, Pisces. You are coming out of this victorious. That's the judgment. The judgment is that you are successful and you're coming out victorious with the Six of Wands. So that's a beautiful energy here. And also, you pass that initiation. It's just consciousness. There was someone here that wanted you to stoop into fear regarding manipulation. For some of you, they like magic manipulating nature type of thing, but in a way to control or manipulate you in some way, shape or form. It's consciousness though. It asks you to rise in consciousness. And so this was initiation for you, Pisces. Why the two of swords with the seven of cups? For some of you, either they're getting bad dreams or you're getting bad dreams because of something that was like blocked here, okay? Or it's like someone thinks that you're in some sort of energy because they are in a fearful energy that's asking them to rise in consciousness. Why six of pentacles with the temperance? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This was a gift. This was actually a gift, Pisces, okay? Why six of, ooh, this was a spiritual gift. Three of wands. This was a, <laughs> and that's what they didn't realize, that this was a spiritual gift over here. It actually upgraded you. That's why you're in the six of wands here, Pisces. This upgraded you. Why six of pentacles, temperance card, and sage of swords? Celebration. All right, also, there might be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius that wants to come forward towards you. Why this Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here? They're going to come in, okay? And as soon as I say that, I get a message. 555, five, five, okay? So someone wants to come in over here. Why the chariot with the Witch of Swords? Look what you've done. There's a song by The Weeknd called Starboy. Look what you've done. Look what you've done. And that's more of whoever, whatever this person or situation is. This upgraded you. Okay, and all you have to do is rest. You do not have to fight. This is not a battle for you to fight. You have the Chariot card, the Witch of Swords. 
there's no fighting in higher consciousness. There's no throwing things back and forth. There's none of that. And so automatically this person is in, and again, I want to say lower place of consciousness because if they're in fear or like this battle type of consciousness, they're in a lower consciousness, all right? And, and so you're just playing the observer when it comes to this Pisces. You're about to receive your wish fulfillment. Why six of cups with the four of pentacles and the moon card? There's someone from the past that's holding on to sadness or grief regarding you. Why five of cups, six of cups, four of pentacles and the moon card? This could have had to, this could have been a romantic connection. Um, this could have also had to do with something like that you were very passionate about. Ace of wands with the five of cups. Why ace of wands and five of cups? The wheel of fortune, okay? For some of you, people from your past are actually still holding on to the guilt that they had regarding you. Because they watch you with the Ace of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. They're watching the wheel turn for you, Pisces. And they're in guilt. All right, what is this moon card in this reading? Because that's the truth. You know what's coming through here, Pisces, is there's people from your past that are sad because they realize they came against the wrong one. Ace of Swords. The wheel has turned for you. Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, Wheel of Fortune. And they're forced to kind of accept that they came for or against the wrong one. They're actually holding on to grief. Like, it's guilt. What's also coming through is the like energy of Judas. What happened after Judas did what he did? And that's what's coming through is that there's people from your past that uh, feel very guilty, but to the point of like it is in their head, they are depressed or, and they don't need to feel this way. That's the thing. It's like you're forgiving. At least like when you come to this channel, we're not holding on to anything. Like they don't need to feel that way, but there's actually people from your past. It could have been these exact people who did that or who did it. But people from your past are holding on to guilt regarding you. But that's because they see you as Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. Tell me more about the Five of Cups and the Moon card. This is people from your past, Two of Cups. All right, and they're feeling a little bit guilty because they're seeing the wheel turn for you, okay? Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. All right, why do we have manipulation of nature? Why do we have manipulation of nature? You do have the Witch of Wands here. Why do we have manipulation of nature? Three of Swords. Someone, and you have Revelation over here. Someone could have very well manipulated nature in some way, shape, or form that could have that... They wanted to attempt to affect your life or, again, just more control or manipulate you. Why the Witch of Wands with the Three of Swords? For some of you, this had to do with your life purpose. And that's why they're still in guilt, because it's a little bit of Judas energy. I'm thinking more of the guilt that Judas felt afterwards. Ace of Cups. I actually... I don't know if it's a Pisces thing, but I feel kind of bad for this person. This person came for your life purpose. And that's why they're still in guilt, because they realize that they had made a big mistake. Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands. That wheel turned for you because God, God has his, her hand on you. God has their hand on you. And these people, right, or this person has seen that where it's like, oh, damn. God really has their hand on that person. All right, this person came for, again, they came for your spirit. They came for your life purpose, Ace of Cups. That's your life purpose. One, four, four, as soon as I look at the clock. Why the Witch of Wands, Three of Swords, and Ace of Cups? This was truly that type of situation. You have the devil card here now. 
very karmic trying to take away that ace of cups of yours that ace of swords ace of wands but you were divine the whole time okay so it's like armies you know uh people this that you know um they came for you okay i'm getting messages too at the same time um ace of cups with the devil card why the devil card here you have the high priestess knight of swords you are the high priestess here this is your life purpose and the reason why these people from your past they feel guilty till this day is because they made a really big mistake coming for you and your life purpose because that's really what they came for was like your life purpose okay but what did it do look what you've done the high priestess and so you received the spiritual upgrade from this and you are the high priestess over here so it's like they tried to do all of those things to you, but they can't. Why? Because you are the high priestess. All right. Why the high priestess here? They didn't know what you've been doing, what you've been working on. Again, high priestess, you've been working in silence. You've been doing your studies. You've been doing your shadow work. You've been doing everything it is that you need to do. They didn't see that. Or it's like their whatever ego, whatever like it was, they did not see that. Why the Knight of Pentacles and the Seeker of Wands? You're very protected. They didn't see it. And that's like the energy of this reading is like, eh, eh. Eight of Swords over here. Life, you're protected by a force they were not ready to deal with. Seven of Wands. For some of you, Sekhmet comes to mind right away. Like all right away, I see a lion. All right, so Sekhmet can resonate with some of you. Others of you, similar energy of a very protective force um, that they were not ready to deal with. They did not see what you were doing. They didn't see where you were going. They didn't see God's plan that God had for you. You did, and God did. Okay, Ten of Pentacles, God did. All right, legacy, and that's Pisces. When it comes to your next season, when it comes to things that are going to be happening in your life, the only, the only way that can explain it is God did. That is the only way, you know, that you, um, when it comes to just all of the blessings come into your life, are going to be able to explain it is God did. All right. What's the advice for this reading? They have no power over you. You are your own person. Five of Swords in reverse with the Hermit card. Your wisdom comes from within. Your wisdom. And then we have the Sun card over here. Okay. A lot of life force energy as well. Ra can resonate with you. Five of Swords in reverse with the Hermit card. Your wisdom comes from within. And it is true. It is true source wisdom. Therefore, whatever attempts, whatever conflict it is that comes your way, it does not work because it is true. It is divine and it is truly pouring out from that cup of source, all right? Ace of Cups here. You're very, very protected, Pisces, all right? And again, the Hermit card, this comes from within you. All right, that's what I have for you. I hope that it resonates. I'm going to grab some cards of advice. Divine Mother and Father, Holy Spirit of God, what do we have for the Pisces? Yes. Uh, for some of you, you are a high priest or high priestess, maybe have been in a past life, the secret, the unknown, mysteries and wonders, okay? You are an initiate of the mysteries. What else do we have for the Pisces today? Sustainability, slow down, tend to your garden, okay? And you do have rest over here. So when it comes to this situation, mm. Pisces. You rest. This is an initiation when it comes to... You're coming into higher conscious. The crowning. Initiation, thresholds, birth, rebirth, a seat at the table. You're going through an initiation. All you have to do is rest and let be. Okay? Because when it comes to whatever the situation or these people are doing, it's manipulation of nature. Um, they want to place you in this 
place of fear, you know, and control, and it has no power over you, all right? This is just your initiation, and so just slow down, rest, because all is well, and there's beautiful things coming in for you, all right? And you're also receiving an upgrade spiritually. Bottom of the deck is healing the mother line. What else do we have for the Pisces? You have falling in love, kissing the divine in another and yourself. And Pisces, you have falling in love that just came out too, okay? We have kissing the divine in another and yourself. There's so many messages going through my phone. But for some of you, this is also asking you to go deeper into love, okay? Deeper into your heart space. Because what this really feels like is like the root versus the heart space, which is like love versus fear. And this doesn't have power over you. Okay, again, like this is either a people, group of people, like some sort of situation that wants you to be in fear, but it's all, it's only asking you to be in your heart space. Okay, it's actually doing, asking you rather to do less rather than to do more. You're just being asked to rest and to slow down. Let be and let God. Okay, I'm going to grab one more message for you, Divine Mother and Father. What else do we have for the Pisces? No more hiding. Okay, what else do we have for the Pisces? sensitivity, patience. There's no more hiding who you are. There's no more hiding your gifts, Pisces. You are the high priest or priestess. You are a sensitive being. You have extrasensory perception. You have spiritual gifts that are unexplainable, that are not understandable to some people in society. That's fine. But you will own who it is that you are, King Neptune sensitivity and no more hiding. Okay, for some of you, this was also an example of clearing out like persecution wounds. But for some of you, again, like this was maybe like for, we have earth magic, manipulation of nature, okay? And this was an initiation that you received a spiritual upgrade from. All right? And this actually wasn't your battle to fight. One, four, four, as soon as I say that, you don't even lift a finger. This is consciousness. All right, that's what I have for you. I hope that it resonates. I'm sending you so much love and so many blessings to your day.